What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Why Wait. I'm Chris and today we just have a quick little five minute video here and it's going to hopefully stick in the back of your mind when you're having one of those days where nothing's working, you are troubleshooting the RV, the slide outs aren't going in. The what? Slide out's not coming in. Great. Yeah. Figure it out. <laughs> Jacks aren't coming up, your systems aren't working, you have no power to the battery. You're trying to figure out what's going on. Well, hopefully if you watch this video, it's just gonna spark your memory and be like, ah, that's right. I remember what might be the issue, let me go check this. And this is a good video for new RVers because it's something you may not think of or have seen or heard of. And it's still a good video for the experienced RVer. Listen, we've been doing this full-time RV living for five years, but when you get caught up in the heat of the moment and you're trying to troubleshoot an issue and get on the road, sometimes you forget the easiest little simplest things to check. And that's where this is going to come in play. When you have no power in your battery and you're sitting there trying to get out the multimeter, check the battery, see why it's not working, checking connections, trying to figure things out. Well, don't forget this because it could just be the simple little battery disconnect switch. Now these are installed on almost all RVs. If you have a fifth wheel like we do, it's usually down in the basement on a wall, usually in a bad position where it can get bumped knocked out of place and shut off by accident on travel trailers. Sometimes they may be actually installed right behind the batteries. And it's something you may not think of when you don't have any power and you can't figure out why. Now these little battery disconnect switches, they keep your batteries charged when you're plugged in, they keep your batteries charged when you're driving, and they keep all your 12 volt appliances working. They're basically just installed for those of us who don't full-time RV when we go to put our campers away for an extended period of time, it's a good idea to go ahead and switch that to off. This cuts the power to the RV and makes sure that you're not draining your battery down while it's in storage. Now, because sometimes these battery disconnect switches don't exactly cut off every single thing that's going to the RV, and there can still be a little power being drawn to the R battery, which might eventually still kill it. If you're going to say, put the RV away for the whole winter or extended period of time, I actually recommend just going ahead and disconnecting the battery removing it, storing it inside somewhere and hooking it up to a like a trickle charger so it can still have some power going to it so that it doesn't even just drain down on itself. That's kind of the best thing to do. You can't always trust these battery disconnect switches. And the big problem with them is that because of their locations, they easily get bumped in our basements. They easily fall out sometimes. And what's going to happen is you're eventually going to have no power going to anything when that happens and the battery is not going to charge and you're not going to have any 12 volt systems working such as slide outs, jacks, lights, and your appliances and things like that. So that should always be the first thing you go to check. As you can see with ours here, it's installed in the basement. It's actually behind our mini fridge here and some other things. So we never really see ours too often. And that can be a good thing because of the location it's in. It never gets bumped. It never gets hit. And because we full-time RV, it's always left on the on position. And that can be a little tricky sometimes too. Does battery disconnect switch on mean that the battery is disconnected because it's on or off? Which way should you have it? Most of the time, battery disconnect switch is on, meaning the battery is on, it has power. Turn it off, the battery is now disconnected to off, no power going to the battery. So. That's the first step in checking on an issue. When you're trying to troubleshoot things and you want to figure out how come you have no power, you know, what's going on with my battery, don't forget about the RV battery disconnect switch that's installed on these RVs. For many, and for many of you who do have these located in your basement in a very bad position where it is easily bumped or can get knocked or hit, and you don't like that, I'll put an Amazon link below to a better style switch. As you can see right here, this switch actually has to be physically grabbed and turned to switch it on and off. You're not gonna bump that. It's not gonna fall out and just disconnect your battery. So it's a quick, easy install, and it's a little bit of a safer option for anybody who's worried about the system they have or the switch they have like us. Again, for us, it's not bad. It's in a good spot. It's you know located somewhere where we've never bumped it. But if you're looking for an alternative switch, you can go check those out. I hope this quick tip helps you. Keep it in the back of your mind because we all know as soon as these things happen, we start you know racking our brains, going through, okay, let me check this, let me check this, let me check this. 
and we start going through all of the systems to check and you know checking it off okay what could the problem be and that should be one of the first things you go to and it's such a simple solution and it can get you back on the road or solve your problem with ease as always guys appreciate you stopping by and we will catch you next time